Now I gotta get on with more disturbing truth. Now I'm gonna keep doing these videos because I don't care if you're mad. I don't give a damn if you're mad. You shouldn't be on this bit of truth if you believe in this color shit. You understand? Because what you have to understand, the government and them starting a race war. The government, the elite people, they starting a race war, and a lot of dumb people gonna buy into it. And that's why I'm doing these videos. It's a big old psyop. They got for the masses and you need to wake up on it now with this so-called george flight killing and you know they say they arrest the police now we already know nobody go to jail nobody go to jail for that shit because it is a hoax a 100 percent hoax and i told you the person that was so-called kneeling on the fake flight is not the same person they so-called they lock up so you better wake up it's two different fucking photos two different people and we go wake you up on this one right here. Now, with this so-called Chauvin act locked up, Derek Chauvin locked up in jail, they're telling you that they have to release eight so-called black people from off that so-called jail floor that they're going to put him on. And I'm going to break it down and show you that it's just a hoax for the race war and it's on. Don't be dumb and fall for it. Let it run. Eight correctional officers of color are suing Ramsey County for discrimination. Mm -hmm. An attorney representing the officers. Here where it's at, people, Ramsey County. It's not a coincidence with the Ram people. You need to wake up. All fucking satanic coding shit they give you. And I told you, the race war is on and in full effect. Don't fall for it. Remember this ban? They were prohibited from entering or working on the floor where former MPD officer mm -hmm. Derek Chauvin was mm -hmm. being held. Mm -hmm. The attorney spoke about the laws. Where he'd been held, <laughs> the people with brains already know they, they hold nobody. Just a damn hoax. Who's going to be locked up for a hoax? You better wake your ass up, people. ...against the county mm -hmm. this morning. Right now, our community, our state, and our country are grieving senseless, the senseless death of George Floyd. And the senseless story. The story is senseless. Not the death. The senseless story. Don't forget it, people. It's one that they made up. And of course, if you look into it, it's senseless. 100 percent many other people of color many of us are using this moment to examine and take a closer look at racism Let's take a closer look right here take a closer look you see the 6 3 for the temperature it's not an accident and you're 111 right there for your number three and of course you know about the cbs with the one eye right there. The small and large systemic injustices facing our neighbors of color. Neighbors of Unfortunately, color. we're here today to bring light to another. Using the black people as prop for the race war. Don't buy into it, people. 100% is just a hoax they're putting on for the dumb people. How far they're going to take this charge flight fakery. Mm -hmm. Example of prejudice and discrimination, this time in the workplace. Mm -hmm. On Friday, May 29th, mm -hmm. eight correctional mm -hmm. officers of color went to work at Ramsey County Jail, mm -hmm. which is right here behind me, yes. expecting to do their jobs. Mm -hmm. They go there expecting to do their job. Pay attention right here, because I'm a boss them that is just a fucking hoax, and you see him reading the script. However, they were prevented from doing so mm -hmm. when former police officer Derek Chauvin arrived at the jail that afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Upon his arrival, Superintendent Leiden ordered that all... Leiden. The superintendent name is Leiden. Wow. The superintendent Leiden at the Ramsey County Jail. There you go, people. You want to hear more? All satanic coding. Correctional officers of color were to be prohibited from guarding Chauvin wow. or going anywhere wow. on the fifth floor where he was to be held. Wow. <laughs> he old on the fifth floor. I'm surprised it's not the sixth floor, but... I tell you, people, this is how you're going to get your divide and conquer. I told you from the first minute they pull off that bullshit. I told you what it is. Green screen bullshit. And of course, it never going to stop. It's going to trigger off the race war. Here we go right here. This decision was made solely because of the color of the officer's skin. Of course you know. Mm -hmm. We're here today because eight individuals who were impacted by this decision were brave enough to come forward. Okay, they're brave enough to come forward. But of course, then they're going to keep them so-called anonymous do you believe that they're brave to come forward this is bullshit right here pay attention it was not easy and it still isn't easy mm -hmm. out of fear of retaliation they've made a difficult decision to remain anonymous today you hear that they're so brave that they stay anonymous dumb on people are you crazy you believe in this shit right here eight black officers of course they know who they are <laughs> what old can they be anonymous and these eight black officers from that county jail what do you think people they can hide come on bullshit
Mm-hmm. Fearful of losing their jobs and livelihood and putting their families at risk. Bullshit people. I- so you want to tell me that the people that run in them don't know those officers, the eight officers, they don't know them? Come on, people, because they're anonymous. Now they're going to save their job and everything because they stay anonymous. This is bullshit, people. Wake Clients up. Clients are kind, mm-hmm. fiercely loyal, mm-hmm. passionate people wow. who care deeply about of each other and about do. their job. Of course they do. On the de- mm-hmm. And the deliberate discriminatory... All the police is the same, people. That's why I keep telling you. They're just there to keep a, a race up, a set of people, not a race of people, a set of people that's low class, keep them at bay. That's why they're there. That's why you see police officers are so black and any other damn color. Just wake your ass up. The treatment they received from Ramsey County on May 29th has left them feeling broken. This morning, I'll share a brief overview of the events at Ramsey County Jail, and then I'll take uh, questions from reporters. Where this one talk, this shit could never be real, people. You hear it keep dragging the damn words full of shit on. Mm-hmm. On May 29th, officers of color were busily preparing. The- officers of color. Wow. Officers of color, people. You can't tell me you don't understand that it is fake shit. That's how you, that's how you, you refer to them. Officers of color. So it's all black. Wow, people. This is dumb right here, man. How you buying these dumb shit on TV? Wow. Come on. Reporters. Wow. On May 29th, officers of color were busily preparing wow. the jail for Chauvin's arrival mm-hmm. when they were invo- informed in various mm-hmm. ways that they would be reassigned uh-huh. away from any task requiring Hold various on. ways that they would be reassigned away from any task mm-hmm. requiring them to be on the fifth floor mm-hmm. of the jail where Chauvin was to be held. I never understand this. So why why put out a warning where this fucking police gonna go? Huh? When somebody get arrested, they just lock their ass up in that county jail. That's just it. You don't, you don't tell them, oh, we have them shoving, go come in and we go put him on the fifth floor. No, it's a space that available he's supposed to be at. <laughs> what the fuck you going to put him on the fifth floor? He's supposed to be in the spot that available at the time when he come in. Normal jailers. That's how it is. What, what, what's different? Come on, people. This is bullshit right here. They clear off the fucking fifth floor because nobody on there. There's no Chauvin, Derek Chauvin in jail. It's just a hoax. For example, mm-hmm. two of the officers of color were tasked with cleaning the fifth wow. floor to prepare for Chauvin's wow. arrival. So you see, this is how they do it right here. They use the black people so-called to clean the floor, clean it and set it up, and then tell them, go away, you can't do it. You're not going to be the one who's going to assign to to watching over this guy right here. You just let you clean it up. Dumb arm. Which involve removing urine and other unsanitary wow. waste. Oh. The police nowadays is cleaning urine. Wow, there you go, people. This is how they do the dumb masses right here. Come on. When the cleaning was done, they were hastily reassigned See? away from the fifth floor See? once Chauvin arrived. See? Yes, they just let them clean the place and then they kick them out. Mm-hmm. One acting sergeant was stopped in the middle of booking of Chauvin they are by the superintendent himself, mm-hmm. who told the sergeant he did not want the sergeant transporting Chauvin to his unit. Wow. One acting wow. sergeant was stopped. Uh, excuse me. Several correctional officers, mm-hmm. officers of color were interrupted in the middle of responding to an... If you can't tell this bullshit right here with this woman babbling and dabbling, you can't fool me. And I told you, just like the so-called church shooting, you remember that one with Dylan Roof, so-called? And they tell you that when the police have to stop at the Burger King and get him a Burger King meal because he was hungry. You know why they do that? The same shit they're doing this right here. You understand that the white people that do do bad against black or do black wrong, they treat them good. There you go. Bring him to Burger King and everything. It's the same thing right here. They have to make the floor special. No black people on there because he violate a black person. Dumb on. This is bullshit to turn up the people. That's what they do. Emergency call. Mm-hmm. And informed that they would not be permitted to complete the emergency procedure because it involved taking an inmate to the fifth floor. Mm-hmm. Another officer realized something was wrong because he was in the control room wow. and noticed on the jail's cameras that all of the correctional officers of color mm-hmm. were on the third floor. Wow, on the third floor. But I ask you again, people, why would they cleaning up urine and everything to bring in a new prisoner? You ever hear that? Huh? You ever hear they clean up they clean up urine because we're getting a, a new prisoner coming in. So let me clean up urine. I told you people, this is for the divide and conquer. Another slap in the black people face who are running around with the Black Life Matter sign for the so-called George Flight fake shit. 
this is another slap in the face right here and there's many more to come i told you already or they cannot let you down at the end of the day keep running with them keep it up these officers initially thought the interruption to their schedules was odd but later learned it was no coincidence uh -huh. superintendent Leiden had issued an order prohibiting Leiden. all employees of color from working on the fifth floor wow. at least one officer of color wow. was also reassigned away from the fifth floor mm -hmm. for her weekend shift on may 31st wow. i want to note that this wasn't a split uh, this was not a split second decision you know, as I, I don't understand people can you take truth from this fucker right here is fumbling and bumbling the whole time the whole thing is made up this one just have problem reading the damn script Paris office seems to be saying at this point look at this shit Strain superintendent Lydon shared his idea of segregating officers mm -hmm. with one of his sergeants prior to issuing it mm -hmm. wow. the sergeant a person of color herself wow. informed Lydon to all the talk people is for the divide and conquer the race war why you gonna buy into this shit people you can't if you have any kind of brain you can't buy into it i know a lot of people they are against this dumb shit and they but at the same time they still got the damn blindfolders on watching with your emotion you're black you watch it with that black blinders on you're white you watch it with the white blinders on you need to stop it use an open mind to see these fuckers right here because you're blind by your emotion and your so-called color and race you can't see to it clearly you have to leave that aside you can never get to to somebody who believe that the white man is holding them down and all of that shit you can't get to it to him you understand what i mean because you already buy the fuckery and it's debit in your mind that's the reason why they give it to you they know that you're weak and you suck up anything they push too much that his plan was offensive but Leiden marched on and issued it anyway Leiden. and that lieutenant was not alone in in objecting to the superintendent's order okay, the superintendent implemented his order and stuck by it despite receiving urgent complaints wow. from several other employees including wow. many of my clients wow so in that little short time when they say okay we're gonna lock up the shaving character boom boom all of a sudden every word is out where we're gonna go and they need to clean up some piss and everything to get him in wow people this is bullshit right here i told you this is another slap in the face for the peoples the black peoples who believe in this george flight garbage they're never gonna stop you see how big they make it of course they are in the face of these bigger. complaints Leiden initially defended his decision claimed it was backed by sheriff fletcher mm -hmm. and other leadership mm -hmm. and justified it by saying that the officers of color were a liability around chauvin wow. Wow. after some time superintendent Leiden finally backed down and claimed he had decided to change the order wow. but at that point the damage had been done wow. shifts had already been reassigned and the oh, blatant sorry. discrimination had broken the trust and the bonds between the jail staff and the supervisors some officers of color were so upset they went home concerned emotions would endanger wow. their fellow officers and inmates wow. they're trying to fool the masses all the police is the same all of them i don't care what you say anything you have to do and take a halt <laughs> you know what that is that's 100 percent satanic shit on earth once you see them take the oath don't trust them i don't give a fuck if you're gonna tell me one of them is different why did he take the oath he's not different he's the same freemason puppets 100 percent in don't trust them the police is a part of this dumb shit brainwashing the damn people to control them mm -hmm. the employees affected by the order were hurt and upset the jail leadership did not trust them because of their skin color wow. these employees Holy are highly shit. trained professionals they take the same old people they take the same old you think they have one old for the black police one for the white police is the same fucking same oath they got all over the world because all of the police is the same thing all over the world the whole thing connected to freemasonry they put it in place to keep you in line so you can't fight over the damn resource that they steal you can't get it back because of the police that's why they're the one who come evict you of the government property so called that's just how it is, people. Just wake your ass up. The police is there for their purpose, not for you. Whose job it is to keep each other safe, mm -hmm. the inmates yes. safe, and the jail safe. Yeah, right. That trust is critical to maintaining. Mm -hmm. uh, trust you is critical. To bumbling and bumbling again, because I told you, this one just have problem reading the damn script. Race war is on. Just keep that in mind. It's on. Don't participate in it, because it's going to come your way. Watch this right here. Bam on turn now to an important story to tell one that's very personal to our friend bam i know you go get caught on the bam 
<laughs> one day you understand this sodomite that used to work for cnn now start working for espn warren clark so-called anything with black you see him show up and of course he's gonna interview another one that involving anything black you see how they look they all fakers just wake your ass up people every fucking one of them on tv is fakers don't trust them because they're black and they're coming for your damn heart watch this right here people. Ryan clark my son jordan and two of his arizona state football yes. teammates say they were caught arizona state football team yes and jordan is the one that used to play football and now he retires so now he work on and this so-called espn but watch this right here people all of them is a part of the psyop to brainwash the masses into the race. A race hustler at a water burger near campus. Mm -hmm. now, what a pandemic. burger. Wow. What a burger. You trust them? I told you, all of these fast food places that you see, this government on, they always keep them and run psyops with them. Not only they poison you, they run a lot of psyops. Pay attention. This is what happened. The drive through mm -hmm. was the only way to order. Jordan Clark mm -hmm. says they asked a woman driving her car mm -hmm. if they could give her money to buy food for them. Wow. She said no because she was wow. in a hurry. Another customer mm -hmm. agreed to buy it for them. Mm -hmm. But while they waited for their food, Clark says, quote, the woman that, that we asked initially eventually got to the window and proceeded to roll down the window mm -hmm. to ask what our problem was. Mm -hmm. We were sitting on the wall. She then filed a complaint with the manager that we Wow. Had she then filed a complaint with the manager right away? Wow, still in the drive through Wow, this is bullshit right here, people. Let's go back. This is garbage. Quote, the woman that, that we asked initially eventually got to the window and proceeded to roll down the window mm -hmm. to ask what our problem was. <laughs> we were sitting on the wall. She then filed a complaint with the manager that they we were sitting on the wall. Hmm. Okay, so they were sitting at the wall on the, on the drive at the drive through asking people to buy the food for them because that's the only way they can get it. Mm -hmm. Your dad is a retired football player working on ESPN, but you have to walk to a drive to telling people to buy your food. That sounds stupid to me. Asked her, and, we, and he comped her meal. Mm -hmm. She then turned to us and said in a vindicated voice, she said, thanks for the free food, N-word. Wow. The clerk goes on to say wow. the store manager gave her the food. She began to dry off, drive off while saying wow. bye. So basically, it's not the person that working at the Warner Burger did it. At the water burger is the person that they asked to buy it. I guess it was a white person calling them nigger and take the food and drive off and the manager them stand up and watch. <laughs> wow. I told you again, people, stop taking these race bait. They're so stupid. If you have any kind of brain, you see it too right, right to it. If you have any brain, you see that it is fuckery. N word. The manager was unfazed. He was quick to condemn us and tell us we were wrong, quick mm -hmm. to threaten us and say he'd call the police. Okay, so after the so-called person burn off with the food, calling them nigger, the manager justified with that person because he said that the kids was wrong for doing what they do, okay? Doing what they did. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, Whataburger has released a statement saying, oh, quote, and they, they, then Whataburger gonna release a statement. I guess that made them good people. This is bullshit right here, people. All made up shit with the devil puppets. Tolerate racism. And we're horrified to hear how these customers were treated mm -hmm. by another customer. Mm -hmm. We are reinforcing training with our employees on they how this incident just was handled. like Starbucks with the two black men. You remember that? They, they reinforced training. There are people coming, black people coming to train people or to, 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 to treat black people and deal with black people. All bullshit people. You need to wake up. All psyops they bring you because they think that you have no brain. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't. Mm -hmm. Apologize. To the players and their families mm -hmm. for this terrible wow. experience. Players and their family. Ryan Clark players. is back with us. And there go your Ryan Clark right here. Wow, here you go, people. He's the one named Ryan Clark. Uh -huh. What is this one name? Wow, his name is Clark also? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's see. And to see this happen to your son, mm -hmm. you know, I don't even uh, want to ask a question. You're a member of our family here. A member of the family. Yeah. Yes, what do you think? They all a part of the Illuminati bullshit they're running and the masses. TV they used to do it. These mainstream media only there to brainwash you. You have to turn it off. Mm -hmm. Well, I think... Um, Watch him. Look for your script. Because we know you sit there all this time. As soon as it, you're ready to talk, look around for the script. Fake on. You Initially, the first thing is 
you know, as a black man mm -hmm. and the father of a black young man, I'm happy he's alive. It have to be black men, and just like ESPN, whenever they come on, I'll call it one and eight, number nine. Period. Like that was that was my my first thought, and then that immediately turned to anger. And what's crazy is I wasn't mad at the young lady or the woman. I wasn't mad at the manager. I was mad at myself. I was mad mm -hmm. with Jordan. And mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily sure that that's the right and emotion. How did you know about it again? Oh, they come home and tell you now. Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. And the hard days are called in. 100% called in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but nothing pisses me off more than being scared. And even though I knew the moment was over, I was still in that moment mm -hmm. as his dad. I was still picturing, as I'm reading it, I'm still picturing, mm -hmm. picturing what's going on. And I'm playing out other scenarios in my mind. I'm playing out a scenario of if this woman would have had a weapon. And she could wow. easily say that these three you young go. black men were threatening her. There you, One go. Of there you go. The woman could easily have a weapon. They never identify what the woman is, if it's a white woman or a black woman. But the woman call them nigger and burn off. Wow, this is bullshit right here, people. Now this one saved the woman have a gun, could have shoot his son. Wow. One of his friends is a tight end. He's extremely tall. He's a wow. thicker kid. The and thicker I believe kid. that if that woman pulls a gun on those young men mm -hmm. and if that woman pulls the trigger, mm -hmm. I believe that she's never punished. Wow. I believe that justice is never served. Wow. And even if justice... Wow, he know already what would have happened if the woman showed his son, she would have walked. It's surge. It's not enough to bring my son back. Mm -hmm. But wow. this isn't just wow. a... Read your script because we know who put you on. Only the dumb people can't see it. That's why we tell them, dumb on. Fear for me every day. This has been a fear for black people mm -hmm. forever. My bullshit. father called me to... Read your script. We know you're full of shit. And I'm exposing you right here so they can see who you are. Every time nothing come up with black people, you show up. And you still have to read from a script. Now we know who you are. You're one of them. Piece of shit on me last night. He obviously called Jordan mm -hmm. the day before. Mm -hmm. And there's a story my dad has been telling mm -hmm. around me forever. And we actually laughed at it. And mm -hmm. it takes on new meaning for me. When in 1977, wow. uh, my father 1977, was at... 1977. Another called in again. And watch him. Reading off a script, people don't trust them. All devil puppet. And why are they posting up this trident right here? Why? I told you what it is already, people. 100% devil shit. You get on TV. A fast food restaurant uh, with his girlfriend. His girlfriend at the time, and I know we're trying to get rid of colorism, mm -hmm. was a fairer skinned woman, but she wow. was black. But to the white guys in there, she was a white girl. And so wow. they start harassing him. Wow. Wow. So it was a fair skinned girl which is actually black, but the white people thought it was a white woman. Wow. Wow. You believe that, people? <laughs> All right. Yeah, right. The white people mistake him for a black, mistake her for, for a white person because she fear. Get out of here. A fairer skinned woman, but she was black. But to the white guys in there, <laughs> she was a white girl. And so they start oh harassing him God. and they're using racial slurs. Wow. And this is bullshit right here, people. Do you, I, I, I don't know, people, but in my experience, you can't pass nobody else but white as white for white people. You understand? Come on, man. Are you kidding me right here? Look at all the other race that light skin and everything, Spanish people and all over different people. You ever see them mistake them for white people? Come on, man. This is bullshit right here. This is 100% garbage. And I told you, this one going to come up with more story than the highway patrol when he come on. You know why? He's one of them that brainwashed the people right here. Every time something got something got to do with black, you see him show up talking that dumb shit right here. You remember the Calvin Kaepernick garbage? He involved in it all the way up to his neck. In word, and so they attempt to jump my father. And so he jumps behind the counter mm -hmm. and he's looking for something to protect himself with. But it's a restaurant. And all they had was plastic mm -hmm. utensils. Mm -hmm. And we would laugh about that story and laugh about that story. Mm -hmm. But he said, he said, I never thought that this many years later, my grandson would be experiencing the same racism that I did. Bullshit. And so where we Bullshit, are. Bullshit, man. Nobody really trusts nobody standing up out of a drive through the lucky they roll on the window for you. I don't care what color you are. You stand up out there in the drive too, where people supposed to just drive and pick up their food. Nobody trusts you. Nobody rolling down the window for some boy sitting on a damn wall. They don't know who they are. They could be some damn criminals. So what the fucking moral of the story right here? I told you, divide and conquer. If they get you, they got you. That's all it is because a lot of people, they're not going to listen to the mag. They're laughing at me. Oh, he don't know what he's saying. Oh, racism exists. 
I never say it don't exist, but I told you where it come from and how it come to be. You understand? Is the people do it. These people right here that they put on TV continue to burn it. You never understand. That's why you win it. It don't matter if it's this black so-called and he calling out the racism and making up some shit and showing you on TV. It's for you to be brainwashed. That's all it is. That's why the racism never goes. People are starting to understand who didn't understand before. I believe that the true racists, the people with true hate in their heart, mm -hmm. are starting to feel a little bit of the power that they felt over the last mm -hmm. few years. And guess what? Of course, it's on both sides. The eight. Just remember that they build the black people so much up and the white man have his boot on your neck so called. Of course, you got the aid for white people. It's the same thing. That's what it's about, people. You never understand by you buying the stories that they're selling you and have you feel like this is in, they got this invisible foot on your neck. Of course, you're going to hate the next race. That's just how it is, people. Why you think they do this? It's all by design. Slip away. So they're going to double down yes. on their racism. Okay. They're going to double down mm. on their hate. They're going to double mm. down on their evil. And that's I told you, people, until this minute, they still never say what color is the person that call him the so-called N-word. They never say, people, what's wrong? It, it, did, they, did they say it and I miss it? Okay. Right. This woman did. And at the end of Jordan's statement, he kind of lists some of the things that statement. he thought about himself and said to only this. Only this statement he taken and it's his son it happened to. But he only go back to a statement where he read. Does that tell you something, people? He talking about his son, his son that had the same home with him. Wow, when you need a statement? Oh, okay. All right, man. All Woman, right. I was none of those things. His entire life, he has grown up as my son, mm -hmm. and it was my job to put him in better situations than my parents could put me. So he grew up in very affluent areas. He went to schools that were predominantly white because See, that's what they always sell the masses. Mm -hmm. These one that come out and tell you, oh, we send our kids to the white school and all of this shit, and they might tell you they're black and they went to a white school. This is how they do it, people. All the vision for the masses. 100 percent those were the schools that i felt could give him the best opportunity to succeed but he was always treated as ryan clark's son and he's faced racism and he's heard the word but it never affected him in this way and i felt like i didn't prepare him for this situation enough to know as a black man you can't walk up to cars you can't wave down cars you can't do that period you know understand so so it's cool for a white man to stand up at the drive to and try to get people to buy something for him no, people, it's the same damn treatment. It don't matter who you do it with or who doing it. You understand? The white people in it because your life wow. is not of value to all of them. Wow, so your life is not of value to all of them. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed that wow. my child is still here. Wow. I, um, <laughs> all right, man. Um, Look at it. Like, Look at it's it. something? Pay attention right here, people. This is the part that make you know that is 100% fakery. Now, if you come on TV and you want to so-called cry, you know, what's going to happen if you're a real person and you come, you want, you, you, you know what, a whole lot of people watching and you're crying. You try to stop crying. You don't, you don't try to cry. <laughs> you understand? That means it's something that you don't want to do, but it just take you over. Watch this person right here. The crying gonna so-called take him over. Pay attention right here. He can't control his emotion because he's talking about his son may be dead or could have been dead. Pay attention. What happened to him? It was him. Him. Read the script. So Watch him. He have to read the script. That's why I tell you, they all actors, people. Whether they come in movies, they come in talk shows, they still acting. Nothing is real on TV. Oh, I gotta do a, a better job mm -hmm. yes. Of, of, yes. of educating uh -huh. him. Yes. Tell him not to walk up to no drive to and knock on people's window. You hear me? All right. Mm -hmm. I got to protect him. Watch him. Read because, the script. Uh -huh. Because I, 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 I would never see a lick of tears come out of him. Fuck off. He would have lived mm -hmm. if he would have made it out. And so mm -hmm. thank you for everybody that reached out to me. Mm -hmm. and All I'm, bullshit. Like, Fuck you with masses back. with your Black Lives Matter. All fucking bullshit for the people with no brain. I told you, don't buy into it, people. Later on, when the race war starts, you're going to look stupid. Because I warned you. I warned you about it. Long time ago. Check out my videos, Divide and Conquers. I told you already, people. I've been showing you. And this is it right here. 
This is when they're going to trigger off the race.